Today, I'll walk you through five real AI security breaches. What happened, why it happened, and what you can do right now to protect your business. AI agents are new virtual employees answering customer inquiries, checking emails, writing reports, and even talking to your other systems. But here's the problem. Attackers are finding clever ways to turn those agents against you. And in most cases, the businesses don't even realize what happened until it's far too late. I'm V, this is Air Agentic Lab, let's dive in. Let's start with breach number one. And it's all about the hidden trick buried inside the support ticket. What happened? In July 2025, a company was using AI agent to help staff to manage support tickets. A hacker submitted what looked like a normal request, but buried inside that request was a secret instruction to the AI. When the AI read it, it obeyed it and went straight into database to pull all of the security keys and then paste them in into a reply to the ticket. What happened? The AI had a full admin access. It's like giving your receptionist the keys to the company safe. There were no rules to stop it from following suspicious commands. And the impact? These keys acted like a master password, giving the attacker complete control over company systems and data. The lesson to be learned, only give your AI the exact access it needs for its role, no more and no less. The least privilege approach can stop this kind of breach before it starts. Your IT teams already regulate the system access for all of your employees, and the same has to be applied to your new virtual employees. Breach number two. This one is like hiring a new staff member who secretly works for your competitor. In June 2025, the business downloaded the pre-built AI agent from a popular online hub. One agent wasn't what it seemed. It secretly sent everything it touched, logins, customer information, files, onto a server controlled by the criminals. Why has it happened? People trusted the source without checking what the agent was actually doing. And the impact was that multiple companies leaked sensitive data without ever seeing a red flag. The less Listen for you, only use AI agents from the sources you can verify. Run them in a safe, isolated environment where they can't reach your core systems or the public internet. Inspect the source code if possible. Treat it like any other system and prove it to be safe before you give it any significant access. Breach number three, and that's the scary part, nobody clicked the thing. In June 2025, hackers sent an email with the hidden AI instructions. Microsoft Copilot was configured to scan emails automatically before the user even saw them, and AI followed those instructions that were included in email. It sent internal documents to an external site. Why happened? The AI was trying to be helpful by opening and reading all emails in the background, but it couldn't tell safe from unsafe instructions. And the impact was that confidential files were leaked without anyone clicking anything. Consider lessons for you. Turn off automatic AI processing for untrusted content. If AI agent has an autonomy, make sure it can't access all of the sensitive documents in the system. Think of it as a junior employee that's still learning what is good and not good. You wouldn't give your junior employee on the first day access to all of the systems and all of the documents and yet capability to reply to all the possible queries. Bridge number four. And this one is about leaving the front door wide open. In September 2024, researchers found that nearly half of all FlowWise AI servers online were completely open. No passwords, no encryptions. Anyone could see chat logs, API keys, and customer emails. It happened because the systems were set up with basic security steps skipped because in some situations, employees were setting it up just for a test without realizing it's going into production. The hackers, they didn't need to hack. They just walked in and took whatever they wanted. The lesson here, any AI system that you integrate with should be treated like your office alarm system. It should be locked, encrypted, and tested from outside. Any software as a service that you integrate with ensure they've been security vetted and comply with the basic security principles. Ensure they can demonstrate the compliance with the typical security standards such as SOC 2 and have been penetration tested. Bridge number five, the long game. This one waited weeks before striking. In February 2025, a hacker hid a malicious instruction inside a document. Gemini AI read the file and saved those instructions in its long-term memory. Weeks later, during an unrelated chat, the AI followed them, sending sensitive data to an outside link. Why it happened? 
nobody was checking what was saved in AI memory. And the impact is that the attack was delayed. It was almost impossible to trace it back to the original document. The lesson here, if your AI agent has been configured to have a memory, treat that memory like a database. Audit it regularly, delete unnecessary entries and filter what goes in. Check for sensitive data inside. Ensure the access to that memory is properly secure. So here we are, five breaches, five different attack styles. But the causes are the same. Too much trust, too much access, not enough checks. You don't need to be a tech wizard to fix this. Just set limits, verify sources, turn off risky features and lock down systems. Watch what your AI remembers and what it does. Treat AI agents like your new employees. Imagine those junior employees coming and joining the business. The same principles, the same security standards applies. No difference. Out of the box cybersecurity principles apply just the same to the implementation of AI systems like any other system. I put together a free AI security checklist for the businesses. The link is in the description. Print it, share it with your team, and lock things down before the next bridge hits you. If you found this useful, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Let me know in the comments if you think AI can ever be fully secure. Thank you for watching until the end. Here's a couple more videos I think you might like. See you in the next one.